I have a mixed haul from Lowe's, Joann's, and the Senior Center Thrift Shop. Got a few things. I saw this. There's a man on YouTube. I think his name is Joseph Sink. C-I-N-Q-U-E. And he does fabulous, fabulous Christmas displays in his house. And he shows them. He had this thing on top of his huge tree. And it puts these beautiful snowflakes all over the room it just mm, this thing rolling. spins around and it's a bulb and you just plug it into a light so, uh, fixture and it just goes i suppose you could even plug it into one in the ceiling if you wanted to yeah yeah come mm -hmm. to think of it I mean, if you want. and uh anyway it's really cool they have it in white and blue i got this one off the lowe's website it was on sale for nine dollars they were regular twenty dollars so I just ordered online, went out and picked it up at Lowe's. So this is what the box looks like. And they have it in blue. I didn't want blue. So I put it in this thing here. So you just turn it in. Oh. And um, you can kind of see on my hand here. It's not really dark enough to do much. On the ceiling. Oh, you can kind of see it on the ceiling. But it's really cool. And they had a lot of other things like mm -hmm. this too, but I just mm -hmm. thought the snowflakes was extra yeah, cute. Some other good ones too. Yeah, they had sand in a sleigh, and they had other ones that had like remotes, and then they only do like yeah. sprays laser. and like yeah, some that are all laser. kinds of lasery cute things. So mm -hmm. for nine bucks for this bulb, cool. I didn't even know they had such a thing. So there we go. So that was neat. Got that. Then I went to Joann's looking for something. Of course, they didn't have it. Mm. But I've been had my eyes on this cute little galvanized steel bells. Mm -hmm. And they were regular. $30 for these oh. dumb things. So I got 75% off, and then I got another 20% off. So they were like $6, which is more like it. At the Joann's. Joann's was getting kind of picked over. Not as bad as Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby was really picked over. So, that's what I got at Joann's. Nothing else. Then we hit the Senior Center, because there was a cookie jar there I saw I didn't get. And I got it. We got this really cute wrap for a dollar. I don't think it's vintage, but it's really in a vintage cool. style. It's really cute. Uh, Mr. Retro spotted this as I was checking out. And, oops. I don't know what she charged me on this. Probably 50 cents. I'm going to put some motifs on this. So this hard plastic seems to work well. And, I got these little bead things to put in here. They'll look better as ornaments in my boxes. Two bucks for those. And they're actual little beads. Yeah. I got this for my friends. These are Airedales. They just lost their Airedales. So I'll give these to Barb. They look like Asta. Well, these are really cute. Those were a buck and a half. And, oh, Mr. Retro's got this beauty. <laughs> he likes him some iron-on cloth Dino. labels. That yeah. says try those. This is just oh. a mini. Is there anything in there? You put the... Yeah. No. Ah. You just put the bowl on the side. Yeah. It's a mini. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was always in charge of doing these. Uh, yeah. You're still in charge of them. Yes. 1971. Yes. Putting he, those yeah. holes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually know. I'm the only one. In the family that knows how to load the tape into this. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, give it to me. It must be some weird left handed thing. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Go Nobody through a knows. symposium yeah. to oh, learn. I'll that. handle this. Right. <laughs> and I got this fake greens. This was a dollar, but it looks really good. It almost looks like a. Oh, that stuff we have in the driveway, Juniper, mm -hmm. that I can't even touch. I'm allergic to it. So I thought this was kind of nice. For Buck. And this, I got these cool beads, these are 50 cents, 
thing, I think. I just thought that they're really neat. They make a really cool necklace. They're cool plastic vintage beads. So, those are neat. 50 cents. And, uh, oh. I have this, I got this ornament for $2. I thought it was quite beautiful. Like a, like a mercury glass kind of thing. But I thought that was very pretty. For $2. There's no, and there's no marking on it. But, and this is what I was in there for. This is like a whole power type cookie jar. Missing the lid, but I think I can track down the lid this guy. Pay 10 for it. What's the name of this? It's got some funny name on it. Spectrum. I can't even read that. Green. The, the made in England? I remember these cookie jars. And they, they just have a big lid that goes on them. So. It's very cute. I don't remember what year it's from. 60s, 70s. I think it's 70s. So, yay on that. Then I'm going to show you. Ta -da, I did one. These are the things I've been making with my silhouette. This was the first one. And it was just that cheap little hard plastic plate. But it came out pretty good. He did a base coat. You did a base coat, and then you did an enamel coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then I just did them on this contact paper from the dollar store. This stuff. It's kind of a beast to place them. Yeah. Other people say they're using freezer paper and ironing it on. That makes sense now. Yeah, that would be better, I think. Because this is kind of hard. I made this giant one that doesn't fit on anything, but that's okay. I might use it on something. But you know, you get this at the dollar store, and so this ends up costing you like 25 cents. I got you gotta that be one. careful with the spray paint. Too. Yes, he has to mask everything because that spray paint wants you to just crawl under. I don't even know how it gets under there. So I think I'm gonna do one with this and put like maybe three mm -hmm. lotus things on it to go with this one. And I then, used a satin. Yeah, the clear satin coat. And the satin clear coat I think looks really good. Huh, okay. He's not sure, but I like it. And then I got this one I redid. I had that one I made with that crummy stencil. And the nice thing about this program is you can save your motif and you can pull it, you can manipulate it, you can resize it. I could cut this out of felt. I just cut it out of this stuff, but you can cut it out of anything you want. It's amazing. So I'm working on that. This one is the, this one needs clear coating. And then this one is extra nice. This is the one I got at Deseret. This one hasn't been clear coated, has it? No. No. But I thought the blue looked good with the stainless steel. So that, you know, it's just, as you go, you learn. And then this one, we're in mid-process. I love this one. And so this is how it goes. Mm -hmm. There's the thing. But he has to mask he has all to mask this everything. Because that paint is sneaky. Mm -hmm. It wants to crawl anywhere. you got to do light coats. I, yeah. I get impatient and I go I too heavy on it. And it's, that's a mistake. Yeah. He has more patience with paint than I do. I'm just like, spray yeah, drip. Right. Yeah. So it's best to go light why. coats, let it dry, light yeah. coat, let it till you fill it in. So he's But even now. I rushed it on some of them and then But you can touch it up. I think that's it. And then just the direction on those for that pot might yeah. change. Might change. Yeah. If I get this on freezer paper, it will be easier to place. See, this just wants to Yeah. It's just kind of, because you're going on a curved surface, if I was just doing it flat, I could just slap it down. But since you're going on a curved surface, you have issues like this. So I think this will be cute. I like it already. So that's what I'm working on. I'm going to do some purses with it, I think. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.